Okay guys, welcome back to Just For Fun. This is Matt. Hopefully my audio is working this time. Uh, we're going to do a cube draft. And I have an interesting um, plan. Let's see if it works. I mean, usually when I play Magic Online Cube, which I'm a big fan of because as far as Just For Fun, it's definitely a Just For Fun format. And usually my plan is to draft Mono Black because I love playing black cards and you know a lot of people think black is underpowered in the cube uh, here I'm looking at Soren, which is pretty good or Nighthawk which is pretty good I god between the two of them it's you know it's a little, uh, I don't know which one's more likely to come back around probably Soren is more likely to come back around because it's triple black but I think I'm going to take it anyway. I just like Planeswalkers. I think they're really powerful. Um, hopefully we get that Nighthawk. We'll see. I kind of doubt it, but um, there's not that much other great stuff in the pack. Actually, yeah, there is. Actually, it's a really great pack. But I know you guys think I'm crazy for not taking, you know, Flame Tongue Kagu or, you know, something else. But uh, really, I, I like to force Mono Black. Let's see if we can do it. If we can't, if somebody else starts taking all the black cards, it's going to be pretty tough, but uh, we'll do what we can. Um, Exhum, I'm going to leave for somebody to try to go into a uh, reanimator strategy. That's not what we want. Uh, Garrick is tempting here. Uh, could end up going green, black, planeswalker. <laughs> um, it's just splash green for Garrick. That seems good. Sarcomancy is going to come back around because nobody takes that card but me. Um, so I think I'm going to take Garrick here. Uh, basically, with the plan that, you know, again, I like not losing to mana. So a lot of people get overly ambitious with their plans here and try to do multicolored mana bases, and they end up, you know, you end up losing a couple games to screw, and I want to take that variable out. Also, there's a lot of just, you know, Solid black cards. You can do a lot in black. There's a lot of card draw at the expense of life. There's also cards that gain you life, um, like draining, you know, drain kind of cards, like Soren, of course, uh, is plus. Um, I think we take Dismember here and hope Ophiomancer comes back around because this can go in any deck. Yeah. Black has good unconditional removal. Um, you know, the only thing, it can't deal with uh, enchantments that well, or, uh, you know, um, there's a lot of things it can't deal with. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is really tempting here. We got Unburial Rights, Grizzle Brand, and Grey Merchant. Um, oh, man. I really like to take Grey Merchant, but Grizzle Brand is just so ridiculous. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, <laughs> we're going to take Grizzle Brand, um, and we're going to try to, uh, ooh, Birthing Pod is tempting. Mono Black Birthing Pod deck? What do you think, guys? Um, no, I think we take Deluge here. This is working out to be more of a controlling kind of deck. Usually I build it as, as more of an aggro, uh, mid-rangey kind of deck, looking for uh, things like um, Grave Born Muse, uh, Pain Seer, Dark Confidant, things that draw you tons of cards, and then all the nice uh, black removal spells. Um, but, you know, we, we did get a Wrath here. We got some Planeswalker, some high end. Um, we're going to take the only black card here Olivia Voldaren. This is my favorite card of all time, um, especially. I mean, mostly because of the art. I think it's insane. It's so exquisite. Uh, love it. And I just love the flavor of the card. I love what it does. I think it's just so Innistrad. It's so badass. Um, so it's very tempting to take that. But I, I'm not sure I want to, you know, splash another color. I want to try to shoot for mono black here. It's a cube. It's not like any... It's not like it matters. It's not like there's big stakes here. Oh, nice. Nice. We get past uh, Bloodline Keeper here. Um, Duran Dynamo was really tempting, especially looking at our uh, at our, our, mana, our curve here. <laughs> but let me take one more bomb here. Let's just keep taking all the black, mono black bombs. 
right? Right? Um, I probably should have taken the red dynamo there. Uh, maybe we can get some other stuff. Uh, Bloodstain Mire is, is good. Dark Blast is okay, but I don't think we want to be dredging. Um, mana Confluence. Is, I'm going to take Mana Confluence just in case we want to. That sets up our splashes. I don't know, maybe we take Bloodstain Mire and hope we get a Bayou. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, okay, uh, Hall of Triumph is tempting, but we're not really going to have that many dudes based on how it looks right now. Let's just take Mutable. You know, another good thing about being monocolored is you can play uh, a lot, of, uh, a good amount of colorless lands without really negatively affecting your, your mana base. Um... So that's what we're going for here, is good mana. Okay, and I knew that Sarcomancy would come back around. Um, so that's good. We have a couple one mana, two twos here. Uh, oh man, you know what? Now that I look back, we could have gotten gifts and on burial rights, which is just such a ridiculous thing. Okay, next time I'm going to try to force that. Let's take the Basilisk Collar here. Grey Merchant came back around. Sweet! Uh... Do we want any of these cards? Okay, well, we'll take that in case um, there's a blue card we want to fit in. Our mana curve is off the charts here <laughs> uh, with our picks. Uh, okay, we'll take the commune and the tracker's instincts. Okay. We have a few green cards here we could, like, Is that just a creature? Oh, that, I was thinking of the one, uh, like, Mulch. That would be better. Okay. Um, Lanamar Waste is tempting. Oh, him to Turok. Spear of the Suns is tempting, too. Um, I'm going to take him to Turok here. Just get it. Just, it's the most black <laughs> card. I mean, I just love having people discard two. It's, it's a built-in two-for-one random so you can get lands with this you can really screw someone um it's just a really evil card and you know what i like being evil so let's go with that the gout sphere comes back around but that would be nice uh shieldred um shieldred will probably come back around so i'm not terribly you know oh what is this art on wrath that's dope that's Helia messing stuff up. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take Inquisition here. And Children might come back around. And if not, like I'm okay with that too. Uh -huh. Not that there's anything else in the pack for us really. But... Uh, okay, Lily. That's that's pretty snap pick here. A um, oh, warm power stone would be good too. I'm passing all these these artifact mana cards. I'm surprised they're coming around so late. Do, do I do I dare pass Lily? Oh, hypnotic specter could be good too. No, oh, I don't. I'm not passing that. It's one of my favorite cards of all time. I really don't want to pass it. Now we're re looking really controlly here. So this is probably not gonna. I mean, a lot of these creatures don't really fit with our plan. Um, Grim Monolith. Yeah. Ooh. This is a tough pack. I'm going to take Grim Monolith and, you know, hopefully we wield Bad Moon or Chater's Edict. I mean, Master would be okay. But in Cube, I, I don't really want to play Master in Cube unless I was very, very aggressive. Just too many good things for people to draw. Uh, okay. Okay. Always tempting to take an Eldrazi. Metamorph is always pretty good. Gatekeeper. I'm interested in taking Metamorph here and hoping that Gatekeeper comes around. I think that's my plan. Well, he's really good for devotion for my uh, Grey Merchant. Uh, let's let's take the Metamorph. Probably not playing this at this point. Dark Ritual could be... Oh, man. Oh, man, what a pack. So many, like, filled with bombs. I think I'm going to take Dark Ritual, and if we get back, like, anything 
I'll be happy with pretty much. Um, yeah, because we want to we want to ramp, and sometimes uh, sometimes we can just start with something like Dark Ritual, uh, Diagraph Ghoul, Sarcomancy, Bloodsoul to Train. <laughs> that could just be bombs. Um, I'm gonna take Corrupt, of course. That's one of the payoff cards for this deck. Okay, okay. Um, what do we got here? Profane Command. I'm not too familiar with this one. Uh, little creature, Deep Life, uh, Reanimate. This is a good card. Yeah, we're taking that. It does a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, yeah. Lenoir Waste here. Uh, you know, don't really care about these cards. Uh, the Aristocrat here. I mean, I guess I could play it off of Bloodstained Mire, but uh, I'm not that kind of deck, really. Spectre came around. That's really nice for us. see anything any better there. <laughs> okay, let's sort by mana cost. Alright, wait see what comes around next. Cubes, so everything is just ridiculous bomb. Okay, uh, I think I'll take Bad Moon here. I think that might be okay. Although I have so few creatures in my deck, it might not even end up playing that. Yeah, these guys, these one mana two ones are looking kind of silly with the, the way the curve is here. Um, okay, Gatekeeper came back around, so that's good. So, yeah, maybe I could just play sort of a split game here and be kind of like start out with the rush. Uh, you know, maybe that'll work for. Wow, this is much better art for John Finkel here. I love this. That came around. Man, okay, so we do have a lot of black aggro cards. So, I don't know. I think we take more aggro and more big big, big bombs and maybe end up kind of um, where we can side, you know, depending on what's going on. Okay, Confidant and Black Sun Zenith. Two cards I want uh, very much. Um, oh, Nyxos. Oh. Yeah, my, I mean, I'm playing too, maybe way too high mana curve for Confidant. You know, unless I just trim all the bombs and go real aggro. Then, what? you know, sideboard to something there. I don't know. You know what? I think Nykthos might be better. Or Black Sun Zenith. I'm going to take Black Sun Zenith. No, I'm not. Oh, God. I'm, like, agonizing over that. You guys are probably like, you idiot. Take Dark, Dark Confidant. But I'm not sure. All right. I'm going to take Dark Confidant. Maybe we'll get one of those other two cards back. Uh, okay. Downfall. Bitter Blossom. Tendrils. All right. I'm going to take... Ooh, we have some removal already. Awesome seems like good. Um, I'm going to take Downfall and hopefully Tendrils comes back around because I don't think, I, I mean, I've been taking all the black cards. I can't see anybody else really being black. Um, okay, okay. So we got a Knight's Whisper. Okay, Life Bane Zombie is good. We'll put that in the Sideboard. This figure, okay. Yeah, I think just to keep the mana good, we're not gonna play the that Garrick. Also with 
you know, monocolored, you know, you can kind of get away with playing 16 lands, you know, because you're, you're not worried about getting color screwed. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, but, you know, we're playing an A drop here, so that, that's not really going to work out for us. So, Living Death, what is this? Um, exiles all creature cards from his graveyard, sacrifices over... Oh, it's like Living End, but just a card. Um, yeah, I, I mean, that seems powerful, but I don't think it's going to... I didn't build my deck around that effect, so I'm going to take the Mesmeric Fiend here. We have a lot of options here on how to build this. I'm already like dreading. <laughs> I'm not even. You notice I'm not really talking about that yet because I'm, I'm dreading figuring that out. <laughs> That's the one thing about cube. There's just way too many options. Um, I don't think we have enough characters for Bad Moon to be good. Uh, blood gas. It's kind of like make up your mind. Are we playing control or are we playing aggro? Um, let's play blood gas. Assuming vapor seems really good. Maybe that'll come around. Um, maybe we'll like get rid of some of these creatures here. I don't know. I mean, I could see just cutting, you know, all of these my drops. Um, Zathrid, Necromancer, do I have other human? Not really, that, I mean, let's see, Sarcophagon, for, oh, no, he's a vampire, yeah. Uh, not really that enough humans for this to be much more than a. Take the lacerator here. I, I see like the makings of a really good aggro deck here, but I could also go controlling. Tendrils comes back around. Harnafi. We got a lot of one mana two twos. Maybe I do play this way and then board into control. Yeah, I think we're gonna try that. We have we have two decks here. <laughs> right? Like, I'm going to take out the, the high drops, go go mono black aggro, and if we need to, we can board it into control. Uh, I think I think that's a pretty good strategy here. Yeah, let's do that. That seems, that seems fun. I mean, we have a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, one mana, two twos, really. Um, yeah. This seems like a, the wrath effects. Yeah, so for okay, let's try the aggro build of this for now. So. I mean, we're going to take out Grizzlebrand, Soren, take out Grim Monolith, maybe take out Corrupt. like removal and burn. So that seems good in the deck. Uh, maybe taking out Lily. I, I mean, but I could just use her as just a removal spell. That seems fine. Like as an edict. And here we got draw spells. 
Dark Ritual seems like it's really explosive. Uh, so 15 land. <laughs> I mean, I'm pl and playing one 5-drop. Uh, yeah, but he's just, like, that's just game over. This seems like it could be really fast. Really fast. Why did it not add, add another one? Add another one, dude. Um, 15 wins? <laughs> that seems... Oh, that's tight. And this could be good in the deck now that it's progressive. 15 lands and a dark ritual. So that's kind of 16. Bloodstained Mire in there just for blood gas? No, I don't think so. For blood, for blood gas and thinning. Yeah, maybe we'll... Let's try that. Um, <laughs> am I crazy? <laughs> I think I'm crazy, but I think this is going to be fun. We might just get run over. It, and, you know, like... If the uh, other guys... I mean, playing aggro also, we could just board into bombs <laughs> and go go control route, right? Like, take out all the one mana two twos and, uh, and go that way and add some lands. Yeah, I think I think we're going to try this this way. Either way, you can see we got a pretty powerful linear deck with... Uh, Really, you know, perfect mana. We're never going to have any mana issues, that's for sure. So hopefully our opponents are trying to dirtle or, you know, uh, be too complicated and we'll just get them. I mean, what am I scared of with this? Uh, uh, mono red would be really terrible. Um, white with all the protection dudes, uh, we definitely have to board into control strategy against, but uh, against green, we'll probably go under green. Um, like a blue-white control deck, we'd probably, you know, beat them before they have a chance to really stabilize, I think. Um, I love playing aggro. Let's give it a shot. I think this is going to be fun.